Hola, mis conejitos. ¿Cómo estás, mi amolicia? Hello, my bunnies. How are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Nancy Drew. <laughs> Stay tuned for danger. I don't know why I keep messing that up. Uh, the reason my screen is a little bit different this time is because I want to explain to you guys how I've been able to install the older games onto my new computer. Now, I, pr uh, I know a lot of people want to play the old games, particularly, particularly the ones, um, well, on my computer, I can't play the games before game number 10, which is a secret of the S Shadow Ranch. So I can't play games one through nine. But I was able to get uh, some help with that. Not from her interactive, surprisingly, but from someone else. It turns out when you slip the, the game into your drive, you right click setup and it has to say application next to it for the type. You right click setup and then you hit and then you run it as administrator. That is if you are the administrator on your computer. And when that happens, you need to create a file, which I will show you right here. I have it on my desktop. I put it under my Nancy Drew folder and I decided to n number it because I'm, <laughs> I am weird like that. I like to have things in numerical order. But it's a little weird, though, once you put the number one with another number. Anyways, um, I decided to title it to Stay Tuned for Danger. When you are running the installation, you want to make sure you choose that file that you created. Otherwise, you won't be able to play the game. And so when, once the whole game is installed, make sure you do not let it install the div X. You do not want to install the div X. Because there will be a question at the end of the installation saying if you want to install it, do not, do not install the div X that's part of the game. It's important for you to understand that. Because I don't really know what happens if you do, but I do know that it's not a good idea to do that. <laughs> so once you have your game installed, you should be able to click on it. Et voila! I love how the... yeah. Alright, so we are going to be playing a new game. And she doesn't say anything, interestingly enough. So let me show you the old, one of the old interfaces. Uh, UI, as some people like to call it. This is the second game in the series. So it's pretty different from what you're used to. This is basically letting you know what what is available and all that as far as the actual game down here is a clock that you can actually click on weird and here's the inventory and here's our speech part I am actually gonna use senior detective I've actually played at senior detective and it was actually a, just the same thing interestingly enough dear Bess you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. Call you later, Nancy. Call you later. So this is an interesting way of traveling through New York. <laughs> By the way, there are actually some people who think there's a continuity of uh, Nancy explaining that her aunt has an apartment in New York. I think it's because her aunt owns the house in Florida and rents an apartment in New York. She's probably that rich. I don't know. Who knows? But here we are here in New York and once we hit this, guess what happens? Oh, never mind. It's later in the game. But, um, oh, one more thing. You know, did you notice the name Rick Arlen? Because I do believe in the, when we were playing Message in a Haunted Mansion, there was a tiny little article in Lewis's uh, briefcase about Rick Arlen. What? 
Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. The door's open. So we can actually explore Maddie's house. Again, there's the blue around the around the magnifying glass, but we can't look up. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> so we can go up the stairs. Doing that goes to bed. We're not going to do that, though. At least not right now. We can go over here. Um, we can't do anything over here. We can look over here. Nancy, while you're out, Ned called. He asked me to tell you to call him for the first chance you get. By the way, he sounds cute, Maddie. So why don't we just go ahead and call Ned? One, two, three, four, three, five, seven. I think it's interesting that they all have different phone numbers. Come on, Nazara! Hello? Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. <laughs> By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. Yikes. What happened to Ned's voice? I'll hurry back to you. But first, I've got another case to solve. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. So, if you guys noticed, that is not Scott Carley doing the voice of Ned. Uh, the first two games of Nancy Drew, they don't have Scott Carley for the voice of Ned. They used someone else. I don't know who. I don't remember the name. And I really like this animation here. They do this for every character in the game. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. Yeah, and I see an extra space between the words here. That really bugs the heck out of me since I'm the writer here. Alright, let's see. It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling, and now Rick's getting these death threats. Oh, no! But it can't be all that bad being a star, can it? Yes, it can be all that bad. If Rick leaves the show, Light of Our Love could be in a lot of trouble. Everyone's worried that the show could get canceled. Well, tell me about the death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional <clears throat> odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Have you ever received an odd letter? Oh, I've gotten some odd ones here and there, but nothing like what Rick has been getting. In fact... They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Interesting. I love chocolate. Especially dark chocolate. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Really? Tell me more. Did Rick go to the police? <clears throat> no, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the Wait, studio. Wait, don't go. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's Ooh, pass totally. for the security desk. I want to see your set. I want to see your set. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. 
I'll write the studio's address on your map. Ooh, thank you. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. I wonder if Nancy is rich too, because taxis in New York are super expensive. Can we not? There we go. I was hoping to find you here. I've been making myself right at home, love. I see you found my personal diary. Well, yeah. You left it out on the table for all the world to see. What was I supposed to do? Well, <laughs> you could have shown a little respect for my privacy and left it alone. You know me better than that? You know me better than that. Your business is my business, babe. I love acting. I've actually been doing really good. <gasps> this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. I got to show you guys this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys see this calendar, right? Do you see th do you see anything odd? Anything at all? Anything? Do you? Okay. If you don't, how about now? Ha! Da da! So you see it? Now you don't. You see it? Now you don't. I don't understand why they did that. <laughs> oh man. Cursive! Why do you have tiny handwriting? Maddie, I'm writing this letter because you never call me. You can't be that busy not to phone your poor mother, <laughs> can you? I see your photo on soap opera journal at the, at the store. You'd think that my own daughter would be, at least send me a copy. I was devastated to see that your picture is so much smaller than Rick's. What makes him more important than you? Darling, you must remember that you are the real star of that show and it's about time we show the world that you are number one i will not allow you to e ever play second fiddle to that man without you without your talent he'd be nothing remember that and remember the person who paid for all your acting lessons for all those years mother kind of harsh do, 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 do. 23rd annual daytime soap opera gala. Ooh. What's weird is that um there's these things. Wow. I am not reading that because I can barely read it. But if you can, go right ahead and pause that. Go back to that little bit and pause it and whatnot. It's locked. It's locked. The only thing is, there's no key for it. Ooh, what's this? The rose is thought of love divine. Oh, be thou, be thou my valentine. That makes no sense. Dearest Maddie, you may my love, my one and only mi amore. You are the sparkle in my eye, the song in my heart, the woman of my dreams. When I hear your soft voice fill the air, it sounds like a chorus of angels. A sound that I am missing right now as I write this. My life is darkened and full of despair without you. I cannot bear the thought of separating from you for more than a second. How I miss the warmth of your smile, the way the light shines through your hair and your eyes. I could gaze into those twin pools of beauty forever. Nothing more would give me such pleasure. I will sadly count the hours until our next rendezvous. Until then, sign me in love, Rick. <laughs> He's a dork! He's a dork! Alright, alright. There. I'm not going to look at everything, um, but I just want to give you guys at least a little bit of a tour of this place. This is basically a book of weird photos. I'm not gonna show it all. Ah! Stop it! And it will be almost on time. Okay, whatever. Remote! Manhattan Television Guide. Will Celeste ever forgive Alex? Ooh. Ooh, hey! We'll actually be seeing this, uh... Not the actual page itself, but we'll be seeing, like, copies of this, uh, page throughout certain games of Nancy Drew. In fact, we'll, you'll be seeing it in the next game. 
treasure in the royal tower. A long road to fame. Actress Maddie Jensen says her recent success in daytime drama is a result of hard work and a little help from home. Well, of course. Alrighty, dighty. So, let's see what else we can look at. We can look up here. And here. And here. I need something to make this work. And it looks like we will be needing something. I need something to make this work. VHS as well. Hmm. We can look at this. 1999 Annual Soap Star Awards Best Actress Maddie Jensen. Light of a love. We can look at her. We can look at this. What's this? Inside the mind of. Whoa! <laughs> Creepy! I did not need to see that! What's this? Ooh, more photos. And we can look over here for more photos too, I think. Yes. Alrighty, Dighty. Let's go ahead and leave. Actually, give me a second, everyone, because I need to check something. <laughs> 